welcome to my video in this video i just want to introduce you to this special instrument i'm holding on my hand it is called the spiegel relascope as you can see the name written on it spiegel relascope it's a very very versatile instrument though very expensive very very expensive but very very versatile in the sense that it can be used for quite a number of things you can use it primarily to measure the height of a tree. You can use it to measure height. And then you can use it to measure the diameter of a tree at any point. And this is very, very important because if we want to determine the volume of a tree, normally we will need, if we are to use Newton's formula, we will need the diameter at the base. That's easy to measure. It is within the reach of our hands. We we'll measure diameter at the middle portion of the tree and diameter at the top. Oftentimes, these two diameters, that diameter at middle and diameter at the top, are beyond our reach. We can't reach it with hand to measure with the tape. So what we use for such measurement is Spiegel Relascope. So Spiegel Relascope can determine the diameter at any position, anywhere along the tree height. So that is one important advantage of it. Unfortunately for agar altimeter, agar altimeter can only determine height. It can be used to determine diameter at any point at all. The Spiegel Relascope can be used for height and it can be used for diameter at any point. And so there are different types. Majorly there is the metric scale Relascope, like the one I'm holding this uh, metric scale because the readings there in terms of the height readings there are graduated in meters that's for meters but then you also have the wide ang wide uh, angle scale relascope which is essentially the ones where heights are measured either in degrees using degree scale or using the percentage scale those are the two scales available in wide angle relascope for measuring height but this one is very straightforward it is called the metric scale spiegel relascope and then how do we know it is metric scale it's very simple there is this eyepiece here this is the viewing window this is where you put your eye to check within the relascope there is a drum and this drum have numbers written all along it and it rolls it swings like a pendulum it goes up and down up and down that's what you have now you have this knob here which you press or release when you press it the pendulum the drum will be moving so the, you will see the pendulum there swinging inside the relascope there when you release it it stays even if you shake it this way, it doesn't move because this is released already. But when you press it again, it starts moving and moving. That function is very, very important for the relascope. Now, all these other places, you can see this translucent glass here, here and this other side. These are windows to allow light into the relascope so that you can see the readings there clearly. And the relascope also has this base here which you can put on a tripod stand to fix it such that it won't be shaking because for some people to keep their hands steady is a challenge when measuring but when you put your relascope on a tripod stand the relascope is stabilized and then you can take your reading with it so how do we use the relascope uh, if you view through the viewing window of the relascope and you scroll down i have pressed this knob now and that pendulum is swinging and you go right down to the end you will see on your extreme left hand side 20 meters followed by 25 meters followed by 30 meters those are the scales for measuring height of trees and what those things mean is you can stand at 20 meters away from the tree you can stand at 25 meters away from the tree. You can stand at 30 meters away from the tree. 
to determine the height of that tree. Ah, but if I can only afford to stand at just eight meters, which is not even a multiple of any of those scales, fine. You can still measure your height. Just note the distance you have to that tree. If it is eight meters, record horizontal distance as eight meters. But then you also record the scale you are using. You can choose to use 20 meter scale for your reading. You can choose to use 25 meter scale for your reading or 30 meter scale for your reading. Whichever reading, I mean, whichever scale you are using, just note it also. So you must record your horizontal distance. You must record your scale. Those two are very, very important. Once you have recorded those things, the remaining things to record for height measurements using a scope is your reading at the base because you will now press the knob and sight to the base of the tree you are measuring once you have known the distance you sight to the base so if it is the 20 meter scale you are using fine you concentrate on the extreme left side and whatever the reading at the base is once the pendulum stabilizes you press and release press and release press and release the knob to make, to slow down the speed until it stabilizes once it stabilizes you release it and then you take your reading there whatever reading that is that is reading at the base once you have done the reading at the base press the knob again the pendulum starts to swing again crawl right to the top of the tree the point for which you want to measure the height once you are there release press release the knob until it stabilizes once it stabilizes release it and take your reading at that place that will be the rt which is reading at the top so your height is simply reading at the top minus reading at the base that's first then multiplied by the horizontal distance you are standing to the tree divided by the scale so if the scale you have used is a 20 meter scale just divide by 20 but your horizontal distance divided by scale that is how to use the relascope scope to determine tree height in the next video i will illustrate how to use the relascope scope to determine tree diameter join you in the next video thanks